So at the vein company, we see a lot of patients that have had leg swelling for years and years. So they come to us looking for answers for the cause of their leg swelling. A lot of times we see that in conjunction with um, chronic venous insufficiency, that's called phlebolymphedema. We also see it as a result of damage to that lymphatic system. So when your lymphatic system becomes damaged through surgeries, uh, chronic illness, chronic venous insufficiency, radiation, chemotherapy, you will present with leg swelling or swelling in the arms, swelling in the abdomen. So your lymphatic system is made to remove waste from the body. It's like a, a drain system. So if you have a drain system that works as it should, as it rains, fluid, the, the rain is going to go into that system and it's going to be carried off. Uh, if you have a drain system that becomes clogged or is no longer operable, then you're going to have a buildup of that rain water that comes back. And that's like the lymphatic system. If your lymphatic system isn't working correctly, you're going to have a backlog or a buildup of fluid that's going to go out into that tissue. When it goes out into that tissue, it's a protein rich fluid. Over time, if you don't seek intervention early, that fluid is going to cause your skin to become fibrotic or hard. Uh, when that skin becomes fibrotic, then it's hard to do the things that skin is meant to do, which is to protect the body. Uh, that's God's, that's our band-aid, that's God's way of protecting our body. So when that fibrotic skin is there and you get a cut from a dog scratches you or a baby scratches your leg, it's going to set you up for the risk of infection. So that's why with lymphedema it's very important to uh, monitor your skin, to look for any open areas, to make sure that you, that you are caring for your skin in the proper manner. So as we age, we think that swelling of our legs is a normal aging process, but it is not. We think, oh, we're getting older, so we're just gonna have to live with that. We'll prop our legs up, we'll reduce our activity, we'll reduce our exercise, we won't go out to outings, uh, we don't participate in things with our family because we have swelling in our legs. And it doesn't have to be like that. At the Vein Company, with our certified lymphedema specialist, we can provide long-term solutions to help you get back your quality of life. So lymphedema is a disease that has not been talked about um, routinely over the last 10 years. Over the last five years, we've had a lot of new literature that has come out because this has become a very prevalent disease. In the United States, it's estimated that more than 10 million people are affected by lymphedema. That is more than ALS, muscular dystrophy, MS, Parkinson's, and HIV combined. If untreated, lymphedema can lead to chronic non-healing ulcers. So in the United States, the most common cause of lower extremity edema is actually called phlebolymphedema. Phlebolymphedema is actually chronic venous insufficiency and lymphedema combined. So you need to address both of those to have the best outcomes. So there's actually four stages of lymphedema. If you can intervene early, and when I say early, a lot of people will come to us and say, I have um, swelling in my legs. Uh, it goes away at night when I sleep, or I put my shoes on and they feel tighter than normal. My socks are making rings around my uh, calves. Uh, that is a very early stage of lymphedema. And if we can intervene at that point, uh, then we're going to prevent all of the skin changes. We're going to prevent all the complications that go with lymphedema. However, if you come to us and it's at a later stage, that's okay because we have a lot of good treatment uh, based on what stage of disease you're in. So stage one lymphedema, your legs will swell during the day uh, with elevation or at night after you've slept and kept your legs elevated. Then you wake up in the morning and you think, oh, my legs look almost back to normal. Uh, stage two is when you have chronic swelling. It stays that way. Uh, it will ebb and flow. The legs will swell up during the day. You will elevate, uh, go to bed at night, wake up in the morning, and that edema just has not resolved. A lot of times primary care providers or cardiologists, uh, other health care providers will put you on Lasix or a diuretic in hopes that it will reduce that swelling. And what you will find is that you really don't see much improvement with that because 
uh, what a diuretic does is it removes fluid out of the venous system. Any overflow that you have there uh, does not affect the lymphatic system. So when you take your Lasix, you will may use the bathroom more, but you will notice that your legs will not improve in swelling. So stage four uh, is a late stage lymphedema. Uh, that is for someone who has not had intervention. You will see that your legs look will have a distinct look. They will have a discoloration. You'll have a warty or woody appearance. Uh, when you feel your skin, it will feel thick and hard. Um, at that stage is when it becomes very hard to ambulate, becomes hard to do your daily chores, hard to take your shower, hard to get in and out of a car. Anything that involves lifting your legs becomes um, very difficult to do. So let's talk about what we do for a person that comes in with lymphedema or phlebolymphedema. If you have suspected leg swelling at our first visit, our providers are going to perform a thorough exam. That's going to involve having an ultrasound, a history and physical, and then we're going to talk with you and see how your symptoms affect your daily life. If you're diagnosed with lymphedema, there's a series of steps that we go through to ensure you're going to get the treatment you need. The goal for treatment, if needed, is to get you approved for a home use pneumatic compression pump. A home programmable pump is a device that you can use daily in the comforts of your own home. Depending on your condition, you'll wear this device 30 to 60 minutes, one to two times daily. With daily use, we have seen patients have dramatic results and get back to living life. By addressing both the venous system and the lymphatic system, our patients have a much better quality of life. One of the most common questions that we get is, is this covered by insurance? And the good news is yes. If you meet criteria, most commercial insurance plans and Medicare cover these conditions. Since this is a chronic condition, we're going to help you long term to get back your quality of life. Venous disease and chronic leg swelling is very common. If you have one or both of these conditions, you're not alone and we are here to help. So we get a lot of patients in here with leg swelling. So leg swelling is usually from a combination of issues, uh, starting a lot of times with chronic venous insufficiency. So our veins are ineffective and that leads to pooling blood that creates inflammation and puts stress on our lymphatic system. And then our lymphatic system in turn does not work as effectively. So what we like to do is start by treating the venous system. That may or may not create a lot of improvement with the swelling. We bring you back in close follow-up so that we can see how much improvement we had by just treating the venous insufficiency. If we've not had the improvement that we need, then we concentrate on treating the lymphatic system. I will a lot of times explain it like you've had a river, that's your venous system, that's been flooding. That flood will damage the tissue around it. Well, just because we get the waters to recede, that does not mean that your land's gonna go back to normal. So sometimes we have to specifically address that land around it, and that's what we do when we treat the lymphatics. So when we're treating lymphedema, there's unfortunately nothing that we can do to cure it, but we have lots of options to manage it. And the cornerstone of treatment is compression. So we can work to get you in good fitting compression that you can tolerate. Um, thankfully, Medicare is now covering some of these compression garments, which has been a huge help to patients. And then we can also work with manual lymphatic drainage different exercises that patients can do at home, and possibly even a compression pump, which would be something that you would have at home, maybe wear one to two hours a day, that it's a gentle leg massage essentially to help push that fluid up to the lymph nodes for your body to expel it. Like most things, insurance helps to <laughs> direct treatment. So we have different pumps that we can use, um, ideally, a, a second generation pump tends to be most effective for patients, but we need to start with the basic model and see how patients respond to that before we can go to a more advanced pump model. The best thing about the advanced pump is it, it more closely mimics your true lymphatic system. Um, and so long term, that's something that you can use when we have an 
incompetent lymphatic system. We can't make that lymph system work how it should, but we have an option to externally mimic the same return of the lymph fluid. Uh, generally, you can wear it up to one hour twice a day if needed, but most patients find with continuous use that they can cut back and maybe not have to use it every day. But it is something that patients would have at home that they can use as needed long term.